Advocate Aurora Health has just released new data and it shows a huge spike in patients and again the big factor no vaccine. Joining us right now to break down the numbers is Dr. Robert Citrenberg. He is the uh, executive medical director of infectious disease and prevention. Thank you for coming on. We appreciate it. Good morning. Good morning. So doctor, tell us what's going on here. Well, we uh, are seeing the trends. Uh, I guess the good news is that the cases in Illinois and Wisconsin where we have our, our hospitals, the, the number of cases is starting to level off, but there's a usually a two to three week lag in hospitalizations. They will continue to increase. And our numbers are, are really very high, much higher than we expected. Now they're not as high as they were back last winter, but they're at the point where it really can sometimes jeopardize the ability to, to take care of patients where we, we sometimes don't have enough staff uh, to take care of all the patients. So we are concerned. We are hoping that in the next two to three weeks that the cases will level up and start to go down our hospitals. But right now uh, it's, it's uh, close to a crisis level, uh, not only, by the way, in our healthcare system, but in healthcare systems around the area and around the country. Yeah, you know, um, I, I think a lot of people, doctor, I don't need to tell you, are, are COVID fatigued. Um, I, I was looking at some data out of South America, in particular Brazil, where apparently the Delta variant sort of has fallen off the shelf and it is believed that it, it, it's peaked and they're done with, with the surge there. Are you seeing any signs that maybe, whether it's here or in Wisconsin, we are approaching that point where we can say, okay, the worst is behind us? I, I think we're getting to that point, certainly in terms of the number of cases. Like I said, there's, there's going to be a lag in hospitalizations that might go on for the next few weeks. But the numbers are encouraging that we have seen a leveling off of cases, both in Illinois and Wisconsin. And we're hopeful that we see a sharp drop off like we did last winter. Again, this, this virus has been very unpredictable the whole way. So it, we, we've been wrong with some of our predictions. Uh, but we're hopeful now that we see that this is cresting that we hopefully can say that the worst is behind us, at least in the number of new cases. You mentioned, you know, in your last answer that you just don't have enough staff, but we've heard from a number of nurses who say they were let go because they didn't take the vaccine. And that was a policy decision by these medical health care providers. These nurses say that they were fine working with these patients when nobody had the vaccine, when it wasn't available. They were heroes last year. There are zeros today without a job. Um, how likely do you think that that is contributing to your issue? Well, for, you know, it's, it's a good point, but first I will say that because of the COVID fatigue, you know, many people have chosen voluntary to leave health, voluntarily to leave health care. It's been a very difficult year and a half. And I think people maybe who are on the brink of retirement said, I'm just going to retire a little bit early. So people are, are leaving health care anyway. You know, the bottom line is that we are, as healthcare care organizations, are responsible for the safety of our patients and of our other employees. And we, we feel and still strongly feel the best way to do that is to have our team members vaccinated. And obviously, you, you've heard about healthcare systems all across the country with similar philosophies. So, uh, and I understand that people did work last year without the vaccine. That's because there was no vaccine. But of course, this year, we're blessed to have such vaccines that are, are really miraculous in, in how well they work, uh, not only to prevent infection, but especially to prevent severe illness, hospitalization, and death. And so I, I understand this is a very contentious issue, but we still feel very strongly that vaccination is the way to go. We got to leave it there. Dr. Robert Citrenberg, Executive Medical Director of Infectious Disease and Pre Prevention at Advocate Aurora Health. Thank you, sir, for your time. Thank you. All right.